Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the 2021 Higher Level Leaving Cert Maths Paper 2, question 6. We have to prove that if two triangles ABC and A-B-C' are similar, then the lengths of their sides are proportional in order. Now this is one of the three geometrical proofs that you have to be able to do. It's theorem number 13. So you can have a look at that in your textbooks or have a look at the video that I made of it. It's, you'll find it in YouTube or you can have a look at MalloyMaths.com. Now in part B here we have a diagram and we have the lines uh, PA, so that's this line here, HK which is this line here and BR which is this line down here and those three lines are parallel. So these three lines here are parallel. Prove that AH times QB, so AH times QB, this one here, is equal to AP, which is this one, times HB, which is this one here. So really, um, we're just going to look at these two triangles here, this one and this one here. We're going to look at the fact that they are similar, and then we're going to use the theorem that we've just proven in part A uh, to work this out here. So let's just work through all of that. We'll start by just saying that um, the angle PAH, PAH, that's uh, this angle here, is equal to the size of the angle QBH. That's uh, this one here. So when you're doing these kind of proofs, make sure you put in these uh, bars here. It means the size of the angles. And then over here, you need to put in a reason as well. And the reason is their alternate angles. Next thing we're going to do is look at the angle BHQ. So the size, the size of the angle BHQ. So that is uh, BHQ is going to be this angle here, and that's equal to the size of the angle PHA. So PHA is this angle here. Why are those two? They are vertically opposite. Angles. Okay, so we've looked at those two triangles and we've shown that two of the angles in each triangle are equal, therefore the third one must be equal. Uh, you can see then that um, this angle here is going to be equal to this angle here for two reasons really. They're alternate angles and they're the third angle in the triangles anyway, so either reason is fine. So we're going to say that the angle APH is equal to the size of the angle uh, BQH. Why? Well, well, we'll say that they're alternate angles, or just angles in a triangle. So therefore, you can say that triangle APH and triangle uh, BHQ are similar. Okay, so once they're similar then you can use the fact that, the, uh, that they are similar to write down an equation with the sides uh, being in proportion. So let me just, just pick the sides that they're actually looking for here. So you can, what I'm actually gonna do first is just redraw these two triangles um, you don't necessarily have to do this, but just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here. So we have the large triangle and we have the small triangle. And we have, let's say, A here, P here, H here. We have B, Q and H, B, Q and H here. So the angles that are the same, this, this angle is the same as this angle. This angle is the same as this angle here and this angle here. 
is the same as this angle here. So we can say that over that equals that over that equals that over that. So let's just pick the sides that we actually want. Well, we want um, AH. So we want AH over, which is this one here, over BH, which is this one here. And that's going to be equal to AP over BQ. So that's um, AP over BQ. So these are the sides that we want. All we've got to do now is just cross multiply, multiply this by this, multiply this by this, and they're going to be equal. So that would mean that AH times BQ is equal to BH times AP. And let's see, is that what they actually asked for? Um, they asked for AH times QB. Well, I'll just write it the way they actually wanted. AH times, they have the Q first. Doesn't really matter, but it's the same thing. And on this side, then they have APHB. AP. And then they have HB here. It's the same thing anyway. And that's it, really. That's it for this particular question.